So we can get so we can get one in there. Get one of the brides just getting out. Just there of everybody, Nick. <laughs> I got me on there, so I can picture it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's my idea. That's brilliant. That's oh. lovely. Yeah. Oh, is it here? Oh, I got stuck here. Yes. You can sit, you can sit down for a minute. I'll wait in. I'll stand up when she comes in. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm tempted to run out the door already, mate. I'm not kidding. i to see Seinfeld. As long as it's Seinfeld. I've been alright. I'm really starting to hate you. So, one guy came out. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'll be glad when I've got a couple of That's what she said, oh, you're going to turn around and just drink in the mirror. I'm done with it. Yeah, well, I still agree, but it's not that old. Nick? I'll smile when it's over. I've not messed it up. I'll be the first person to hit the deck. No, I'll probably win if I messed it up, because Ken. Ken. No, I promise now to best man, I'm not getting married. So she's 15 minutes late, I've had enough now. Well, you did say bye, Matt. Before we start, a couple of things. First of all, my name is Dora Ryder. I'm Deputy Superintendent of the Well, and I will be marrying Matt Ryder. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Is Tamsin Martin. She will be making a legal entry into the marriage register today. I might have to ask her to go out. Can you say that again? What did you 
myself, couldn't you? You're on camera. I'll do it eloquently. I'll do it to my posh voice. This is clashes with my talk, isn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please stand to greet the bridal party? I would like to thank you for being here today as they celebrate the beginning of their new life together as husband and wife. I know it means a great deal to them that you can all be here today to share in their happiness on this very special day. Trevor, thank you for escorting your daughter Kezia here today for her marriage to Sean. Do you both give your consent and approval to this marriage? Yes, I Thank you very much. Would you all please be seated? <laughs> Kezia and Sean, today you will exchange vows of marriage which will unite you as husband and wife. These vows are a promise of lifelong commitment giving your families and friends the opportunity to meet together in celebration of your happiness. For Kezia and Sean, getting married here today is a confirmation of the love, respect and friendship that they have for each other. In each other's company they have found happiness and contentment and it is in this spirit that they have chosen to affirm their relationship in this formal and public pledge. <coughs> Marriage is the promise of hope between two people who love one another, who honour one another as individuals and who wish to share their future life together. It enables two people to share their dreams and memories, their joys and laughter and to help each other through troubled times. It encourages them to risk more, and thus to gain more. In marriage, the husband and wife belong together, providing the mutual love and respect in which their lives will be enriched. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. You are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Sean Andrew Neal and Kezia Makita Georgie Corns. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they must declare it now. All right. So before you're joined in matrimony, it's my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you're about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of one man with one woman, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you may not be married to each other. I'm sure you're going first. I do solemnly declare... I do solemnly declare... That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of, of, of any, any lawful impediment. 
why I, Sean Andrew Neal, why I, Sean Andrew Neal, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to Kezia Marquita Georgie Corns, to Kezia Marquita Georgie Corns. Lovely, Kezia. I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare, that I know not, that I know not, of any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment, why I, Kezia Marquita Georgie Corns, why I, Kezia Marquita Georgie Corns, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to Sean Andrew Neal, to Sean Andrew Neal. Sean, do you take Kezia to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, loyal and faithful to her for the rest of your lives together. I do. And Kezia, do you take Sean to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, loyal and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. So, Mia, would you like to come and take the flowers, please? Gentlemen, would you all please stand? Sean and Kezia, you both declared yourselves to be free and willing to marry. Will you now turn and face each other and hold hands as you call upon your guests to witness your formal vows of marriage? Sean, would you repeat our thing? I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present today. Here present today. To witness that I, Sean Andrew Neal. To witness that I, Sean Andrew Neal. Do take thee, Kezia Marquita Georgie Corns. To take thee, Kezia Marquita Georgie Corns. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of my life. For, to love to, for the rest of my life. <laughs> I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present today. Here present today. To witness that I, Kezia Marquis to Georgie Corn. To witness that I, Kezia Marquis to Georgie Corn. To take thee, Sean Andrew Neal. To take thee, Sean Andrew Neal. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. That's lovely. Would you all please be seated? Now the traditional way of sealing the vows is by the giving and receiving of rings, <coughs> and Kezia and Sean will mark the occasion of their marriage in this time-honoured way. So Greg, come forward, and if you'd like to put Sean Kezia's ring. Say these words to me. Kezia, I give you this ring. Kezia, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, that I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have to share with you. I promise to love, cherish, and protect you. I promise to love, honor, cherish, cherish, and protect, and protect you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Sure, I give you this ring. Sure, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to love, cherish, and protect you. I promise to love, cherish, and protect. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Probably Okay, Sean and Kezia, you've made all the declarations prescribed by law and solemn and binding vows with each other. And you've sealed those vows with the giving and receiving of your rings. And in addition, you've given to each other a promise of love and commitment. May you always love, honour and cherish one another. May you live a long and happy life together. So Sean and Kezia, it gives me the very greatest of pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. And you may kiss your bride.
That's lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, I have one final duty to perform here today, which is to present the certificate as proof of what has occurred here. And it is tradition in this country that the certificates are the first property to cry after the That's why they always think they've got this permit. <laughs> <laughs>
thank you very much for taking her off the end, mate. And uh, <laughs> hope, hope you have a good 26 years as well as I. Yeah? <laughs> hope it's a bit longer than that. Maybe I'll have your forehead. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'll go for a syrup. Um, I'll go for a sweet mate. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, dude. Yeah, syrup sounds good, though. Um, other than that, that's all I want to say because I don't know what else to say. So. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. There you go. Well done, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Sean the Groom. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's come and made the efforts coming down, especially um, well, one to Sue, who's uh, helped Pez out quite a lot. And this is just a thank you. I know she can't eat chocolate or anything, so it's just a little gift for us. Um, another thank you I want to say too is Dave and his wife Debs for helping out with Sophie. And I think we just appreciate them getting down here. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who come and obviously to the stunning bride for turning up because I was expecting to be left at the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not always true, but I'm glad that we went through a bit. And um, I'm, thank you very much for all of you coming. I um, much appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one you've been waiting for. <laughs> Please give him a big round of applause. The best man, Greg. Please don't applause, you have not heard it yet. Right, now, first of all, I would like to say I've been a bit of a plank and left it at home. So this is all going to be off the top of my head. So it's going to be bear with me. But first of all, I would like to start with saying that Sean and Kez have both been there for me through very many trials and tribulations in my life and through everything. When I got kicked out, Sean was there. When I thought about leaving home, Sean was there. So I would like to say a massive thank you and much respect for that, mate. But anyway, we've all come today to gather here to kind of celebrate his wedding. But at some time in your life, you do have to get married. So can we all just raise our glasses in condolences? Please? It has got to happen sometime, mate. I'm sorry. It has to. It, it does, kind of. But they have raised three gorgeous, wonderful kids. Well, two. Blaine's an exception. <laughs> As lovely as he is, he is an exception. But thank you everyone for turning up, as Sean has already said. And just, just yeah, thank you. And, yeah, let me put this down. Oh, I'm really oh, I'm you said you had to go to bed. You just wait until the stories come out. But anyway, I've noticed... Sure. five minutes on it, then it switched up automatically. I'm now 23 and I've known Sean for 12 odd years. First night I met him, I had Ginger coming round, Cameron, and he knocked on my door and he said, All right, mate, here's a lad called Sean. It'll be pleased to meet you. That very night, we've gone out up to Burton and we've got knock a door running. Come back and decided to do knock a door running on a house in Melton. Didn't turn out too well because the police ended up turning up. And for some strange reason, Sean thought it would be appropriate to treat me like Anne Frank and shove me in the attic. Yeah. I really don't know why. Well, just my idea. No, he's to blame, you know. <laughs> but it, it, all in all, it's turned out very well. And me and Sean have become very, very close friends. And he is one of the only friends I have not ever fell out with. And for everything, although me and Kez have had our ups and downs in our arguments, mainly over pronunciation of words, grass or grass, back or bar, and I'll just say it is back and grass. No, all you Londoners, you're just wrong. Just wrong. But through everything, they have been the two people in my life who I could always count on, and for that I would be eternally grateful. So, can we now just raise a toast and say thank you, good luck, and our condolences. To Sean and Kez, Neil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.
smush it in his face. <laughs> Go on, just shove it in there now. His mouth's big enough. Do you, you like the ices? Come on. Uh, get it down. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe okay. Do you want to take a bigger part? <laughs> Remember, if you take off his fingers as well, why stop it in there? <laughs>